Hi, welcome to Savor Food and Life, where healthy living and great recipes come together. I'm Mark Daniels, Executive Chef at San Angelo Community Medical Center, and I have with me a special guest. I have Dr. Arujo. How are you doing today, Doc? I'm doing very good. How are you, well, Mark? I'm, I'm great. Uh, thanks for joining me on Savor again. And uh, today we have a, uh, a nice uh, twist on a Cobb salad. Yes. Right? Cobb salad. It's great, right? But not always loaded with all the things that we need. Correct. In it, right? So um, this is pretty simple, and we're going to make a salad dressing that adds a little bit of flavor and spice to it, but not all the different uh, fat you might get from adding mayonnaise or, or heavy milk, buttermilk, and whatnot to it. Correct. Right? So. We're going to start with a creamy poblano dressing. I'm going to have you make that for us. Absolutely. Okay. It would be a pleasure. All right. So we have some, we're going to start with uh, Greek yogurt. Yes, this is a great source of uh, protein and probiotics. It's good for your intestinal function. Great, great tasting as well, right? Yes, and it's good instead of using mayonnaise, like Mark said. You use this, it's healthier for you and for your family. You know, my, my wife prefers Greek yogurt instead of sour cream on baked potatoes and things like that. Me too. So, you know, it adds a little bit of extra protein and, and uh, flavor to it. So we have poblanos. Those look very tasty. They look uh, you get, you different, get, different, but if, they if look you, good. If you have the time, uh, we prefer that you uh, get them fresh. Yes. Um, but if you have to, uh, there's so much health going on with this recipe uh, that you can use a can poblano if you have to in a pinch. But uh, as always, the fresher the better. You're going to get the maximum amount of uh, uh, health benefits from it. We have olive oil. Yes. We all talk about olive oil. It's so good for you. Nice and healthy for you, right? Yes. We have garlic. Garlic. And I know garlic's healthy for you, right, oh, Doc? Oh, yes, yes. It's uh, antioxidants. And retard your aging also gives a great taste for any food and the, the aroma from it is just amazing oh, it's so right good, it, isn't it just make me hungry already red wine vinegar yes a little vinegar is good for you yes it help also it helps to digest because the vinegar is uh, acidic so it helps if you're having some meat it helps oh, with that too the perfect, chicken perfect. that we're gonna have in the salad also helps some salt and pepper and paprika and we have that for color and flavor and it's got uh, some good properties in it as well. Yes. Okay, so we're going to blend this together. So it's all incorporated. It's coming together nicely. Yes. And you start getting that color. You want to make sure you get your garlic and, and uh, your cilantro and poblano all mixed together and broken down. Oh, that's starting to look good, Doc. That's good right there. Good. Yeah. All right, so now we have our dressing so what we'll have you do is I'll have you toss we're gonna add a little bit of dressing to it yeah, and today we have this kale and I'd like to tell uh, our audience that this is kind of considered one of the superfoods is a great source of uh, iron especially for vegetarians and vegans that don't want to eat meat that's, see, that's that's great to it's know a, it's an amazing right so, you know, if your doctor tells you, oh, you have low iron, you have to, you have to bring your iron level up, and people automatically think of red meat. They don't Correct. think of Correct. kale and things like that. So. so now you think of kale. Also, it's good as a source of vitamin K, too. So vitamin K for kale, okay? Okay, so what we do is, once we have it dressed, we're going to build our nice, pretty salad. That's good, yeah. And then I'm going to force you to eat it. Oh, of course, it's not forcing, well, right? It's usually pretty No, it's pretty not. Good. It's doable. <laughs> All right. So once you get some on a plate... Right? Then you can put whatever you like to, right? If, if you like corn, add corn. I love grilled or roasted corn, so we're going to add a little bit of corn. Uh, yeah, now, if you're a vegetarian, you can, you can skip these Correct. items, right? And you yes. can go with more uh, grilled vegetables. Yes. You can even put some of those poblano strips on there if you like, right? That's right. That's a great idea, actually. Okay. So we have some egg and uh, some chicken. And the yeah. good avocado. Avocado, and then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of... Uh, the avocado is very good. Also lower your cholesterol, your triglycerides. Give it a try there. Do I have? Should I be the first one? Oh, yes. Definitely. Should I get a bite of that with that dressing in there? Mmm. -hmm. Delicious. Tastes, right? That's wonderful. Thanks for joining us on Savor Today. We'll see you again next week. Thank you. Savor Food and Life, sponsored by San Angelo Community Medical Center.